Hi, it's Mr. Rowe. So today I'm going to show you how I bent this piece of smoked acrylic for this DJ booth. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use my propane forge as a heat source and create sort of an oven to warm up the acrylic so I can bend it on a jig. So I created this plywood box. Um, it has some pivoting brackets on each end that will sandwich the acrylic between them. So I can rotate the acrylic. I want to have an even heat throughout the acrylic so it bends evenly. So when the forge is on, I want to be able to raise and lower the box um, using that utility lift there. And I'm using this little shield. I'm just going to clamp that on there to kind of diffuse the heat so it kind of evenly spreads and doesn't have direct heat on the center of the acrylic. So the box will uh, sit on top of the lift. I'm just clamping in the acrylic now so I can rotate it back and forth. It's already cut to size widthwise, but it's extra long so I can trim it after it's bent. So that's just some protective coating on it. You can see it's uh, it's pretty cool uh, smoked acrylic. Um, it's does collect a lot of dust, that's why I keep wiping it all the time. So I'm going to rotate it down there. So the idea is the heat will be trapped inside this box until I can uh, get it to the right temperature so it will bend smoothly on my jig. So why don't you just use a torch? Uh, well, because I need the heat to be evenly spread across the acrylic or sometimes if I've had experience where if you get too much heat in one spot you'll get little bubbles and it'll affect the surface and uh, the surface needs to remain um, with the factory finish. So I'm just lighting up the uh, propane forge here now. Uh, you can watch my video on how I made this forge and that's my little uh, burner there. So there's lots of videos on how to bend acrylic on a 90 degree angle, but uh, very few to bend curves. So this is a fairly long curve. Um, I don't have an oven that it would fit in. Uh, it would never fit in a regular size oven. And I looked into getting this done by um, some professional companies that do it, but they want to do mass production. Um, they weren't interested in just doing one. They basically have large pizza ovens that they put large sheets in and then they'll do multiples of whatever shape you need. But I just need one so um, I think this is going to work out pretty well. It's a pretty good looking haircut you got there buddy. So here I just keep I'm using the vice grips there to rotate um, the acrylic so the heat doesn't concentrate in one location. So the temperature needs to be around 160 to 170 degrees Celsius in order for it to be pliable enough to put on uh, my jig. Uh, so I discovered that um, I have to keep rotating it but I had to move the box back and forth so I could get, uh, there was just more heat in the middle naturally and the box wasn't holding all the heat at each end so I had to, you can see it's getting pliable there um, I almost had to watch that it didn't get too hot in the middle and it would uh, create a crease so it's hard to, it was hard to film <laughs> there's a lot of things going on but I had to move the box back and forth on the forks of the lift in order to um, get even temperature on, on all the ends so it would uh, you can see it's really I could almost by the time I was ready to take it out I could almost twist it into like a piece of licorice that's pretty cool so yeah few frantic moments here I really think I'm gonna screw this up at this point and um, it's ready to go. There's my jig. So, I, like I said, I left it extra long so I can clamp each end. And you see how it just basically fell over the shape. It's awesome. So, just clamping the top and the bottom 
onto the form and uh, let it cool. So you can see it, uh, it followed the form almost perfectly and there's, I didn't see any effect at all of the surface. Uh, it's very, it seems to collect a lot of dust, it's kind of a static electricity thing, but um, you can see the box uh, it got scorched a little bit, but nothing too serious, I'll probably never use it again anyway. And you can still see the, you know, this is a couple minutes later, the temperature is pretty even throughout. So here are the brackets that um, are going to hold the acrylic in place. They're going to receive a blackening treatment, like a chemical process, not paint. And uh, I formed those channels in uh, my hydraulic press, which you can see in another YouTube video. Uh, it was a little challenging to uh, form it and then create the curve for the corner section. That's the press there. So I left it about 15 minutes or so, uh, then it was cool enough and uh, it held its shape. Anyway, I had to find the right section of curve to match the channel and it fell right in there. So now I just need to trim the ends. I put what's called uh, pre-mask on the acrylic when I was doing the cutting just to pr pr protect the surface from being scratched. And I just used a regular miter saw to uh, cut the ends and then everything fit perfectly. So I should mention that the brass countertop here hasn't had its final sanding yet. That's why it looks a little bit rough. and. Um, here I keep wiping the glass. I'm like looking at it. I'm saying, man, why is this so dirty? And then I realize it's chips on the brass on the other side. <laughs> this DJ booth is going into the Drake Underground, which is the premier music venue in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So here you have the final look after we've installed the DJ booth. It's got the blackened steel brackets and the curved acrylic on the corner there. And uh, tacked on a couple pictures at the end of what the place looks like uh, when, you're, when it's open. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. And click subscribe if you'd like to see more unique videos.